Hi everyone, welcome back to She Stitchin'. This is Melanie, and my stitch of the week this week is going to be the mixed cluster stitch that you see here. Um, this tutorial will work if you are doing the crochet along with us, or if you're not. Um, if you are doing the crochet along with us, um, your hook size needs to be um, a 4.0 millimeter hook. And um, you're going to start out with a starting chain of 31 stitches. And if you're not going to be doing the crochet along with us, you just need to have um, an even number of stitches plus two. So this is the sample today that I will be including in my crochet along. And it is out of the soft gray mix, the medium gray mix, and the Cape Cod blue from the Karen One Pounds. And I have a, different, a few different samples to show you today. This is that traditional um, Super Saver um, Christmas yarn you can see here. And I used a bigger hook, so this is quite a bit more loose. But it does look really pretty in um, a variegated yarn. And I also worked it up here in a one single color. This is like an orange with a little bit of sparkle in there. Just to show you um, how pretty it could look in one color. And then I also tried a different variegated sample. So we've got four rows of a teal here, then two rows of a yellow. And then just a variegated sample to show you a couple different looks. And then I also tried it with um, a bulky yarn and a size 10 millimeter hook. The end hook. And you can see here, this would be a beautiful scarf. And this sample here is only eight stitches wide. Um, so it is really pretty. You can see this portion starting to come off on the top here. So we're going to rotate between single crochets and then the rows of the mixed clusters. So those are all the samples I have to show you today. So I will meet you at the end of your chain of 31. Okay, so here we are at the end of our chain of 31 stitches. And um, for row two, we are going to... Oh, a piece of fudge just fell from the sky. <laughs> We're going to start um, by skipping two chains, one and two, and then we're going to crochet into the third chain, and we're just going to do a single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in every stitch all the way across. So that is the American term. So you're going to insert your hook, pull loop through until you have two on, and then pull another two through. So that's the American single crochet, and that will be the whole first row. So your first row will have 29 single crochet, plus the turning chain will equal 30. Um, and if you're not doing the crochet line with us, you're just going to want to have an even number um, for your total. And you can see my stitches in the background that I have here. On the left, I have the bean stitch, and you'll see why. And then I have my cluster B stitch and the regular cluster stitch, all in, in the dark gray in the corner there. And I just wanted to pull out all the cluster stitches, um, so we might want to talk about them as we go. But I will meet you at the end of our row of single crochet. Okay, so here we are at the end of our first row. So we've got all of the single crochets. We've got 29 single crochets plus that turning chain on the end, uh, which will give us 30 to match up with the other crochet along. Now you can see in my sample here in the background, I was changing color every row and I did three different colors and I'm pulling the yarn up the side. Um, so if you have any questions about that, go ahead and let me know and I can do a different tutorial on that. Um, but I also talked about that last week in my interlocking block square, carrying the yarns up the side. So what we're going to do here to go to the next row is we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Three. Now, if you've been following along with us, normally I like to do a chain list standing double crochet, but I don't really like the way that works out with the stitch, so let's just go ahead and do that chain three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start a double crochet, but we're not going to finish it. And what we're going to start is a mix, the mixed cluster stitch. And the mixed cluster stitch is always going to start in the stitch that we just finished. So technically, this turning chain would normally belong to this first V here. But we're going to use that in the start of the mixed cluster stitch. So we're going to yarn over and place our hook in and start off like we're doing a double crochet. 
So we're going to yarn over, pull loop through. So we have three loops on. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to stop. We're not going to finish that double crochet. So we're going to have two loops on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to skip this space here. So we're going to skip the next V. And we're going to yarn over and go into that next one. So this is the third stitch of the row. But we're going to skip one and go in here. We're going to go through the, both the front and the back loop. So all the way under there. And then we're going to... So we have that yarn over before you place your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull a loop up. So you'll have four loops on. And then we're going to do that again into the same place. So yarn over, go in the same stitch, yarn over in the back, and pull a loop up. And you can see here we have six loops on. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all six stitches, or all six loops there. And then we're going to close that up with a chain stitch. And that is your first mixed cluster. Sorry about that. So let me do that a couple more times with you, okay? So like I said before, you're always going to want to start your mixed cluster stitch in the stitch that we just ended. So we're going to go into this stitch here. So this stitch is going to be used, you're going to insert your hook into the, the that stitch three times because we already did it twice, so now we're going to go in the third time. So you start off with a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull loop back through, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that's the first part of a double crochet, but we're not going to finish that off. We're going to leave these two loops on. Then we're going to yarn over, skip one stitch, and go into the next one here. So skip stitch, go into the next one, yarn over, pull a loop up. We've got four loops on. We're going to do that again. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull a loop through. We've got six stitches on. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all six. There we go. And then you close that off with a chain stitch. So that's what we're going to do all the way across this first row. Let me do that one. Uh, I'll do that two more times with you guys, okay? So we're going to yarn over, place into the same stitch that we just ended in, pull loop back through, then yarn over, pull through two. Now we have got two on. We're going to skip one space, yarn over, so you have three loops on, yarn over, or so you have three loops on, because of the one yarn over already. You're gonna skip stitch and go in here. Yarn over, pull a loop back through. You've got four on, do that again. Yarn over, place in, and then pull that loop back through. Then you've got six stitches on, pull through again. All six stitches. Sorry, let me pull some extra yarn up there. And then we're gonna close this off with a chain stitch. There you go. So now we've done three. You can see this part here. So these, the reason why I pulled the bean stitch up right here in the back is these little guys kind of resemble the beans a little bit. So it's almost like we're mixing a bean and part of this double crochet two together that was in our cluster V stitches. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. Let me do that one more time with you. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the same space that we've already used Yarn over, pull loop through. We've got three loops on. Then yarn over, pull through two. We've got two loops on. We're going to skip one space and go into the next one. Yarn over, place our hook in there. Yarn over, pull loop back up. Now we have four on. We're going to do that again. Yarn over, place our hook in. Yarn over, pull that loop up again. Now we've got six. Pull through all six. Then chain one. So let me go ahead and I'll do one of these here at full speed. Well, not full speed, but a faster pace. There you go, so you got six on, pull through. Okay, there we go. Let me count really fast, I think it's 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so we're gonna, if you're doing the crochet along with us, you're gonna go ahead and do it until you have 14 of those. And I'll join you for the last stitch of the row. And if you're not doing the crochet along with us, you're just gonna wanna wait till you have just that end stitch. So I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. And you can see I've just got all 14 of the mixed clustered stitches.
And I like to count them by the kind of the sideways part of the bean that I was talking to you about. So what we're going to do is we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I've got everything I need. And then in the last stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. So it might be a little bit hard to get into because it was the top of that turning chain. But we're just going to try to get through both of the stitches, the front loop and the back loop. So yarn over for the double crochet, find the first loop, lean forward here and find that second loop and pull through one, pull that loop back through and pull through two and pull through two. So that is the end of our first row. And now the rest of this pattern is going to be alternating between a row of single crochet and then another row of that, that cluster. So to go to the next row of the single crochet, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then turn. And then we're going to go into this kind of um, eye here. This is the chain space or the chain stitch that's created when you close up the mixed cluster. And that's where we're going to place our first single crochet. So go ahead and place one there. And then we're going to take pl also place one on the top of the cluster stitch. So just insert your hook through the front and the back loop and it's nice and loose. And then yarn over, pull a loop up and pull through two. And then remember you go into that chain space and then into the top of the cluster, into the chain stitch, and then into the top of the cluster. So go ahead and finish this off with a roll of all single crochet. And when you get to the end, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the seam as your first row. So go ahead and finish that up, and then I'll meet you um, and sh make sure you are um, able to do that first cluster stitch. But otherwise, this is a really easy tutorial. So I'll meet you on the end. Okay, so here we are at the end of row three. You can see that that beautiful mixed cluster. I really like it from this side. It looks like a palm fran or something. And then on this side, it's uh, not the same texture, but it's still really pretty with uh, the bean and the stitch. Sorry, my dog is picking on my cat. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain three and then turn for our row four. And this is gonna be a repetition of row two. So if you're struggling um, getting this, you can still go ahead and rewind and, and keep going over it again and again, because everything is just gonna be a repetition. Row two, or row one, then two, three, then four. It's gonna, all the odd rows and the even rows will all be the same. So we've got the chain three, and we're gonna start in that same first stitch again. So we're gonna yarn over and place in that stitch. Yarn over, pull a loop through. Got three on. Yarn over, pull through two. We've got two on. Then we're gonna yarn over again. Skip this stitch, go into the next one. Yarn over, pull the loop back up. Got four on. Yarn over, place in the same spot. Yarn over, pull a loop up. Now we've got six on. Yarn over, pull through all of them and then do a chain to close it off. Okay, so I just wanted to do that first stitch again with you to help make sure you knew how to do the turn into that first space. I'll do another one with you. So yarn over, place in the same stitch we just ended. Yarn over, pull a loop through, we've got three on. Yarn over, pull through two, we've got two on. Yarn over, skip a stitch, go into that second one away. Yarn over, pull a loop up, we've got four on. Yarn over, place in the same stitch, yarn over, pull it back up. Now we've got six, yarn over, pull through all six, then yarn over and do a chain and close it off. Now that should be everything that you need to finish off this stitch. I really do like it. I feel that it goes pretty quickly once you get into this rhythm like I am here. And I think it um, is a great addition to our crochet along. It's definitely a stitch that I would um, use again. And I really like, I'm sorry, my dog. I really like the way that it is, um, looks here with three, three colors. Um, I like how we, um, it just kind of looks, uh, I don't know, it looks way more complicated than it is. And um, I like how the big rows and the little rows looking different. I like it in three colors, but I, as I showed you in the beginning, all those other samples, it looks pretty cool however you do it. Um, if you have any questions, you can um, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
And if you want to share a photo and you're getting tripped up on a certain spot or something like that, you can check out our Facebook group. It's a really great community um, where we are doing the crochet along together. There's about 4,000 people in the group now. Um, not everybody's doing the crochet along, but quite a few of us are. Um, and sharing the results in albums there, so it's a lot of fun. Um, if you have a Facebook, it would be great if you join us. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok that I'm using. And um, been lots of fun there. So if you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Please give me a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I will see you next time. If anybody asks where I am, just tell them she's stitching.